Have you ever wanted to spend time with your family but couldn't because you had school, work, or sporting event that you had to go to instead? According to YMCA, 10% of parents report that they eat just one meal a week or never eat with their teen. Why do we have this problem? Students spend five out of their seven days week at school, leaving almost no time for them to spend with their friends or family. This problem can simply be solved by spending this problem can simply be solved by having a four day school week. Today we will discuss how having a four day school week is beneficial to not only the students' physical but also to their mental health. With students' busy lives, they spend less and less time with their families. On May 6, 2020, Hannah Hall and Eric Nelson took a look at how students' day is spent. They placed all their data into a pie chart, and these are their findings. Not surprisingly, sleep is the largest use of time, about 40% or 9.5 hours per day. The time spent at school is 19% or 6.3 hours per day, followed by duties, chores, a catch-all category including meals, commuting, chores, and personal hygiene, all at 15%. Overall, enrichment activities, homework and reading, compromise at 3% of total time use, substantially less than TV or other passive leisures at 11%, or play or social activities at 7%. As the data shows, only 11% of a student's day is playing and socializing. As you can see, these things seem to have gotten a little bit off balance. Then let's turn this lopsided scale back to balance. A four day week is, an, is necessary for students to practice. Some may be thinking about academic success and how it might fail. This may be true as this could be a downfall. Brookings.edu might help sway this view as they did some research on the topic of a shorter day week. While the evidence regarding overall student achievement impacts its mix, recent evidence has found primary negative achievements impacts a four day school week in Oklahoma and Oregon. However, the Oregon four day week experiences hardly the norm. A more nuanced take of the evidence would suggest that the effects of achievement may depend on whether the instructional time stays mostly intact. This is saying that if you stay on task and get the job done, this is possible, but you have to be up to the challenge. With school now being four days a week, students will now be able to focus on their families. I want you to stop and think for a moment. How much time do you spend with your family daily? Bliss.gov says that homework was typically done alone. High school students spend 77% of homework done alone. About 16% of homework time was spent with family members. This shows that students simply don't have enough time to spend with their families. As a senior at Nebraska Christian High School, I have a four-day school week. These are just some of the benefits that I have experienced while attending Nebraska Christian. With students going to school four out of the seven-day week, students now have an opportunity to spend their evenings with their families and possibly work a part-time job if needed so they can start saving for college. I work a part-time job at the CC Mall here in town and it has been super beneficial because now I'm able to save for college and still go to high school and take some college classes on top of that. In addition, a four-day weekend gives students about 96 hours to spend with their family or friends or working that needed part-time job if need be. So today we covered why having a four-day week is beneficial to the student, not only in a physical way, but also in a mental way. So please join me as we refine our balance and turn the tables upright. Thank you.